Shalom brothers and sisters. So, fun developments with Abbas, the moron of the day. So, there's two articles. I'm going to read the latest one now first, and then I'll give you context in the second article. First article, very impressive. Paris mayor revokes Palestinian chief Abbas honorary model uh, medal, right? Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo revoked the Medal of the City of Paris from Palestinian Authority head Mahmoud Abbas following his recent anti-Semitic comments and Holocaust denial. The PA chief was first granted the prestigious medal in 2015. So it was a big win for him and now it's been taken away. In his recent remarks, Abbas insulted Jewish Holocaust victims by claiming that European Ashkenazi Jews are not Semites and therefore have no historical link to the land of Israel. Not only do they destroy everything they find archaeologically that links Israel and the Jews, but they actually now go as far as to say the Jews aren't Jews. In addition, Abbas resorted to classic anti-Semitism by denying that Jew hatred was the main fuel behind the Holocaust. Instead, the PA claims that the Jews were murdered due to their disproportionate role as money lenders in Europe. That's the straight up Nazi propaganda that he's been proliferating and he's even put into books that he's written and it's coming to light more and more. The Paris mayor blasted him and his anti-Semitic statement in an open letter. I condemn your comments in the strongest possible terms no cause can justify revisionism and negationism. As you know, the Holocaust is part of the history of Paris, she stated. In our city during World War II, tens of thousands of children, women and men of the Jewish faith were rounded up, deported and exterminated in death camps. Hidalgo affirmed that the PA chief's remarks are contrary to our universal values and the historical truth of the Holocaust. So you can no longer claim the highest distinction of Paris. Brilliant. Well done, lady. Not that the world's going to stay like that for long, but at least there's some hope. Right. So what did he do that upset everyone so badly that world leaders are actually forced to say something about this? Again, the man who says Israel doesn't want peace and Israel's not willing to talk, but he hates them at such a deep level. This is his contribution. Jews aren't Semites, says Abbas, among other remarks. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas repeated numerous anti-Semitic theories that he has stated in recent years during an event of the Fatah organization on August 24. According to the translation of his speech, he said, The truth we should clarify to the world is that European Jews are not Semites. They have nothing to do with Semitism, Abbas said. He went on to explain the theory of the Khazar descent of Jews, which alleges that Ashkenazi Jews are descendants of the Khazars, a Turkic people who converted to Judaism in the Middle Ages and created a short-lived empire. Abbas added that Karl Marx had agreed with this position, but granted that Mizrahi Jews that have their origin in countries of the Middle East were Semites. He then claimed that the persecution of Jews in Europe under the Nazis had nothing to do with Judaism itself. <laughs> Citing Adolf Hitler in his claim. Big fan of Hitler, by the way, even in his books. The persecution had to do with ushery, money, and so on and so forth, Abbas said. Hitler said he fought the Jews because they were dealing with money and ushery. In his views, they were engaged in sabotage, and this is why he hated them. We just want to make this point clear. This was not about Semitism and anti-Semitism. Abbas continued by sharing his opinion about the 1917 Balfour Declaration issued by the British government, which led to the support for a national home for the Jewish people. Who invented the Jewish state? It was Britain and America not just Britain, Abbas said. I am saying this as we know who we should accuse of being our enemy, who has harmed us and taken our homeland away, who gave it to the Israelis or the Jews. Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, 
posted a message on social media calling for international condemnation of Abbas's comments. This is the true face of Palestinian leadership, Erdan wrote on X. While he spreads pure anti-Semitism, he also plays, pays Palestinian terrorists to murder Israelis and publicly commends their terrorism. Shamefully, in two weeks, President Abbas, a man who publicly blames the Jews for the Holocaust, the ultimate form of Holocaust denial, will take the stage at the UN General Assembly. What a disgrace. Where is the outcry? Where is the condemnation from the UN? Germany's ambassador Stefan Siebert joined Erdogan in condemning Abbas's statement, which he called an insult to the memory of millions of murdered men, women and children, adding that Palestinians deserve to hear the historical truths from their leader, not distortions. And yet the UN will do nothing. Even though some countries have condemned these statements as the fabrication and lies that they are. I mean, the fact that he cites Hitler as his credible source for why. Let's take a step back and say, okay, let's agree. Hitler didn't kill them because they were Jews. He didn't want to wipe them out because they were Jews, which if you even read Mein Kampf or any of the German books and any of, of the history studies you should have done, you would know it was exactly why he did it. But let's say all of that was wrong. Even Hitler was wrong. He did it because they were money lenders and they were sabotaging him. Does that make it right to take men, women and children and push them into gas chambers and murder them and work them to death? Is that right? Is that fine? Let's just go on that point there. Should you still be quoting Adolf frickin' Hitler? Abbas is the kind of man who will quote the Antichrist and stand behind him like a dog clapping his hands all the time. Which is probably exactly what's going to happen. And every now and then the Pope will throw him a sweetie and then he can go and sit in the corner with his friends. Ridiculous. Moron of the week. And you know what? The United Nitwits... And their whole little council getting ready for their general assembly, that is a circus of morons as well. And that is my opinion. Evil running rampant with nobody holding them to account. Why? Because they are pushing that evil agenda. So yeah, let me calm down before I go off the rails on this one. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray that Abbas... As a God moment. Then an angel appears in his bedroom. And reveals to him how confused he is. That God himself gives him a shock. Because anything is possible. Nothing is too hard for God. But all these people that are out to destroy God's people. Are in for a surprise. A big surprise. We've read the book. We know how the story ends. And no matter what Lucifer and his people do. It does not end well for them. So they best enjoy their six minutes, seven minutes in the sun. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.